Just a quick little video today about uh, a particular feature on the Zoom H1N uh, handy recorder. And today we're going to talk about connecting it to a computer and using it as a USB microphone. On this channel, I tend not to do full reviews of products, but rather talk about some aspect of a product that uh, was not clear from the documentation for me. And hopefully by examining that and coming up with solutions, I can help you because I care about you. You're the viewer. Um, and in this case, I'm going to talk about something that is fairly clear, fairly intuitive, even from the documentation. But there's some terminology that uh, I thought I'd clarify on the Zoom H1N uh, handy recorder audio interface with a computer. So where you might want to use this as a USB type microphone. Um, so we'll get into that. But first, a couple of observations. One of those observations is that, let's be honest, it's a low end uh, in terms of cost recorder. And it's made with fairly cheap plastic. A lot of higher end um, recorders would have um, would have some sort of rubberization on there. But this is, you know, it's internally, it's it seems to be a, a good device. The audio is good, it's feature laden and so on, but the housing is cheap. And the reason I point that out is, I'm going to make a recording right now. And you'll notice as I'm handling this thing, there's, there's a lot of handling noise. So if you're, if you're a reporter or whatever, you might have a lot of fidgeting noise on your recording. So it's just something to keep an eye out for. If you're doing filmmaking or whatever, of course, you're going to use a tripod, maybe even external microphones that you plug into this thing. So that's not a big deal. The other thing is uh, this limiter. Limiters are handy when you're not sure what the audio levels are going to be like in the environment that you're recording in. So um, what they do is they prevent the audio when there are some strong peaks from getting too strong and distorting within the device and kind of ruining your recording. The problem with this one is when you, the minute you turn the limiter on, Yes, it's going to help you in those difficult situations, but it actually adds a little bit of noise. And this has been observed by reviewers uh, on the many excellent reviews that are out there already on YouTube. So I'm not going to attempt to cover all the things they cover. But that's just something to keep in mind. If you're in a, a, an environment where you can predict the sound level and you can set it manually using the, the gain control on the front, and you're pretty comfortable that it's not going to uh, go over uh, the top end of the dynamic range of this thing, then you're fine. If you're in a, an environment where you don't know what the sound's going to be like, and it doesn't matter that there's some background noise because it's already a noisy environment, by all means, use the limiter. So those are my two observations. So once you're uh, plugged into the computer uh, through the USB port on the side of the H1N, uh, you'll be greeted with a, a screen when you power on the, uh, the H1N. It says audio interface or card reader. <clears throat> card reader is where you want to dump files back and forth between the computer and this. Audio files, obviously. Um, but we're going to talk about the audio interface, which is the first choice. So you just accept that. And it says PC, Mac, or iOS. If you're uh, interfacing with a computer, just hit PC Mac, accept that. And then it requests whether you want to use bus power or battery power. Well, bus power is the power coming from the computer into and, and keeping alive this um, H1N recorder. So accept bus power rather than use the internal battery. And now it the thing has come alive. Now that there's one other setting in here. If you hold down the option button, which is like the stop button, and hit audio, the audio button on the top left, it may say direct off. If it does, um, just push and hold that stop button again and hit direct on. You just kind of toggle through them. Now direct on. 
That means when I plug in either an external uh, amplifier or headphones, whatever, into the headphone port, I can hear myself directly as I'm speaking into the mics on the top of this thing. I'll hear myself directly without any kind of delay. There's a term called latency that they refer to. In the f uh, first, I didn't understand what they meant because I'm not uh, in the audio recording business. But basically, latency means a delay. When the audio comes from the recorder and goes through the USB port, it has to be processed by the computer, by its processor. And maybe the amount of latency depends on how fast the processor is. But there's actually a delay between when you speak into the microphone and when you hear it out of the computer. And I'll demonstrate that here now. I have Audacity on the screen. OK, I'm, I'm now, now testing. testing the Zoom, Zoom H1N, H1 and, and you should hear an, an echoey, echoey sound, sound, which is the direct sound from my voice into, into the microphone, microphone and, and also the microphone is picking up the computer speakers with that delayed or latent sound. So the direct on, direct off setting that I talked about earlier by holding the options button or the stop button and toggling through audio, all that seems to do in direct off is cut the output from the headphone jack. If it's direct on, then you're listening to your voice live from the mic or external mics, whatever, through the headphones out of that headphone jack. So I'm not sure why that's got anything to do with latency. One way or another, if you're recording from the H1N to the computer, there's always going to be a delay. It's just that when direct on is on, or direct is on, you can, and you're listening on headphones, you hear yourself without hearing that delay, uh, as long as you've got the computer speakers turned down, of course. But that delay is always there. So that's just to clarify, hopefully, what they meant by direct on, direct off, latency, and so on. It's very simple to connect it to a computer as long as you've got some kind of um, audio recorder or editor, as uh, Audacity is an excellent one, by the way, um, you, can, uh, you can always use this as a USB microphone. So that's it. If uh, this was any help to you, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. I can always use more. <laughs>